Hello internet world, welcome to a new video on the Geek and Noise channel. Uh, in today's video I'm very excited because I've got not one, but two security cameras from TP-Link. Two of their different ranges, I've got the TP-Link Tapo and also the TP-Link Casa outdoor security camera. So one indoor security camera, one outdoor security camera. Very kindly sent in to me free of charge by TP-Link. Absolutely love their products. Uh, and they haven't asked me to say anything in particular or to pre-approve the content. I'm going to share with you my honest opinion. And it is mixed, actually. The overall, I'll come on to very later, but it is a little bit mixed because uh, I've been using security cameras and smart home technology for many, many years now. And I'm getting very picky in uh, how I sort of uh, test things and what I end up integrating into my own smart home setup. And it's a really telling uh, result when something ends up being part of my smart home setup because then that means it must be very, very good indeed. So just uh, to let you know as well, I have got my studio light. It's obviously off camera up here. That is controlled by a TP-Link Casa smart plug, which I've used for many years and it works fantastically. Just wanted to let you know that. Uh, in fact, I've got the, the app just here. And if I go back to my main sort of control panel, I can tap the button and turn off my studio light. That is very cool. So it means I can turn that on and off. Uh, but this is about the cameras, of course. And before I come on to showing you them a bit closer, I want to remind you this is a live broadcast. So big hello to everyone tuning in live, including the first person in the live chat, Austin G. Uh, Austin G is asking a question about something else. I'll come on to that at the latter part of this video, Austin. So I will answer you, but I want to cover these products first. So we have got the TP-Link Casa Cam Outdoor. This is what the product packaging looks like. We're going to do that one second. And then we've got the TP-Link Tapo, which is an indoor uh, security camera. And this is what the product box looks like on this. And I'll give you a closer look at this on the other camera very shortly. And uh, let's just pop this one aside. I'm going to show you the outdoor camera afterwards. But let's take a, a closer look at the Tapo camera. Uh, this is what it looks like. Very, very sort of neat, uh, unassuming design. This doesn't rotate, but the inside portion where the camera is does. Uh, we've also got on the back an input for the uh, power socket. And you'll notice the base has got a bit of movement. So we have got this sort of rotation on the base. So it will rotate in all directions. So this direction, motorised, and up and down direction, motorised. Uh, we've also got, if we push this all the way up, a micro SD card slot. Not sure if you can see that very clearly, but there is a micro SD card slot. So it will record uh, video uh, locally onto that micro SD card slot. So you have to plug this into the mains. Uh, you do get a power adapter included in the box. It will record up to 1080p HD, so full HD video. Uh, night vision, really good, up to 30 feet of night vision. And it also uh, will support up to 128 gigabytes on that micro SD card slot. Uh, the pan and tilt, 360 degrees horizontal, 114 degrees on that uh, vertical range. There is a, a sound and light alarm on here as well. You also get live view, of course, on the app. So you've got an iOS app or an Android app for live view. Uh, there's also a privacy mode. Uh, the two-way audio is really quite good. It's got a little microphone pickup here and a speaker on the back. So you can use this for communicating uh, through the camera. Uh, and you can always uh, look at the videos on the app and you, you can download and share the videos that are captured as well. Uh, so if you wanted to share, not necessarily a bad moment. Maybe you've captured a really funny moment. Uh, one of your pets doing something crazy in the house. You can obviously share that video with your friends and family if you want to on social media or, or privately. Uh, the video quality, very, very good on this one. Uh, I've been really pleased with how this has been performing. I said it's a mixed bag of feelings about products. Uh, and the mixed bag... Uh, is because this is sort of, I would say, like the entry-level range of cameras uh, that TP-Link do. And the Tapo range use a different app. So you can't, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but this uses the Tapo app and the other range, uh, the smart plugs that I use and the other security camera I'm going to show you, uses the CASA app. 
So that's a little bit strange. Or maybe just mash them together. I don't know. Uh, I just wish they all used the same app because then if they use the same app, you could mix and match some of the budget end cameras that are a lot more affordable with some of the other cameras and just mix them all up. Uh, also, uh, just something worth noting is this does get marked quite easily. It feels like, uh, and it's not a deal breaker, but just feels like a little bit lower quality plastic used on this than on the other range. But then they've got to make price savings somewhere and it doesn't affect the functionality at all and the video quality is still extremely good. So I don't think you'll be disappointed at all with the video quality on the Tapo. So before we move on to the uh, next camera, I do just want, let me just pop this to one side. I do just want to take a look inside the live chat. Uh, a big hello to everyone else tuning in, including Alexandros from Cyprus. That is awesome. Thank you for tuning in from Cyprus. Also, Silent Badger and Gadget, da uh, Gadget Dad. Uh, Gadget Dad asking, why can't they disguise these cameras to look like an everyday object to be more discreet? There are indeed cameras that I've tested that are very discreet. Uh, some very small sort of pillbox designs uh, and some that really do integrate very well. If you put it on a shelf, you wouldn't really know it was a camera. So there are cameras out there that actually uh, do sort of disguise themselves quite a bit. So here we go. Let's uh, take a look at the next camera. Uh, this is the outdoor camera, and uh, this is called the TP-Link Casa Cam Outdoor. Uh, again, full HD. This will record up to 1080p. Uh, this has also got a siren built in, which is really cool, because if you've got this outdoors and you do get intruders, for example, and you want to set the siren going, maybe to scare them off, then you can do that, and it also alerts other people outside that you've got an issue. Uh, this one works with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa as well, uh, and it's designed to go outdoors. Uh, now let's run through uh, some of the main features. So we've got a wide angle field of view on this lens, 130 degree wide angle view. Uh, and by the way, do stay tuned because I'm going to show you on the app uh, my camera that's already running. Uh, so do stay tuned for that. Uh, so 130 degree wide angle lens, two way audio again, so we've got a mic pickup and a speaker in here. Uh, and again, I think this is a little bit crisper. The audio sounded a bit crisper on the speaker on this one. Uh, really clear video, super sharp. Uh, you can tell the difference between this one and the Tapo. The Tapo is not bad, but you can tell the difference when you look at the, the video side by side. Uh, you, so you've got two way talk on this. Uh, it's very, very easy to install. It comes with screws inside the box and you sort of mount it to the wall. Uh, or indeed you can just place it down like this, but there's no tilting. It's really designed, I would say, to be placed on a wall because there's no sort of movement on here at all. Uh, we've also got the ability to set up activity zones. You get notifications. And of course, because this is designed to go outdoors, it is waterproof as well. So plenty, plenty of features on these products. Now one thing to note is this powers via USB. You do get a USB power uh, brick, or not power brick, power adapter I should say, a UK one in the UK of course, that you plug this into. A fairly long cable, but, and this is a, a sort of my problem with this one, uh, you do have to overcome the fact that it's a captive cable. So this is permanently connected. So if you want to extend it, you have to extend it at this end. It also makes it a little bit more difficult to install because you need to uh, obviously make a hole big enough for the USB uh, plug to go through. Uh, but once it's installed, there's a little bit of a sort of a cable tidy just here. And uh, once it's installed, you've got a very nice security camera setup. And the, as I say, the video looks extremely good. Now I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I do already use TP-Link products. I've still got some set up. I just wanted to show you here. This is um, sort of the video history. Let me just turn this brightness down a little bit on here. There we go, allows you to see it a bit clearer. So this shows you some of the video history just down here uh, from the camera. So this is clips that is captured when it's noticed activity. And then this is the live view at the moment. It's buffering at the moment, which is typical during this um, session. Let me just start it again. 
is because this often happens during my live broadcast purely because I'm using up so much bandwidth uh, from uh, the live broadcast that it then ends up buffering. Uh, but I'm going to have to show you one of the pre recorded clips. So let's go to the pre recorded clips. Uh, so this is what it captured earlier. It's a static image, but it gives you an idea of the quality. Nice and crisp, good color range in the video as well. Uh, really nice colors here. Hello. And uh, just plenty of, uh, of detail in the video. Of course, on the live view, you can zoom up to the full live view as well. And whilst it's in this live view, you can obviously communicate using the microphone that's built in. So very, very useful uh, setup, really easy to use. Let me just show you one of these uh, full res clips as well. So this is a clip that's already sort of downloaded to my smartphone that's playing back. Really nice amount of detail. So very, very good, really easy to use user interface as well. So that is it on the reviews. Can I recommend this first of all? So the first camera I showed you, the Tapo, can I recommend this? This is a great entry level camera. It records locally as well, so I can recommend that. Good quality video, step up in video quality, step up in build quality as well. And of course this works outdoors. Uh, you can also get an indoor version with the CASA range as well. Uh, so do check out the link to the TP-Link website in the video description area. The video quality on this is top notch, very, very crisp, a uh, little bit tricky to install, but if you take that into account and plan the install, then I don't think you'll have any problem at all. And it works extremely well. And that user interface and the app, very, very nicely designed. So I can certainly recommend both of them. I've left links to where you can pick these up down in the video description area. So we move on to the questions now because there were some questions come in. Uh, some of them not related to these products and I will answer them because I'm happy to answer tech questions. Uh, Austin G, can you do a review on the uh, Runmus gaming headset? Just a recommendation. Thank you for the request, Austin. I will certainly put out um, an inquiry about that product. Can't promise I'll get it in because I don't buy products into review, uh, but if they do post one over to me, then I will obviously review it for you. So thank you for that request. Uh, Alexandros saying, uh, that's the biggest pain of all, different apps to different control units. I currently use Sonoff controllers. Interesting, uh, and it is a problem. Uh, we've had things uh, like Ho Apple HomeKit try and bring all of these products into one app, but the main control, of course, is in the manufacturer's app and you do end up with quite a few installed on your phone and you switch between the few. I've tested so many different manufacturers uh, smart home security cameras I've probably got about a dozen different apps on my smartphone. It's not an issue really because once they're set up you still get notifications come through on your main home screen and you're using these just to capture video of course once they're set up you sort of leave them there um, so apart from just checking maybe battery life if they're battery operated from time to time it's pretty much easy once they're set up to just flick between the notifications when one comes in. Uh, we've also got Andy uh, saying good morning uh, would be lovely to get one app that can run all cameras so a similar thing one app for all cameras and that's of course where if these companies made everything HomeKit compatible and I think I think this one might be HomeKit compatible Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought I saw a symbol on one of them saying it was HomeKit compatible, but some cameras are. So you can pull all, if you use the Apple ecosystem, you can pull everything into the HomeKit uh, sort of user interface. Uh, and also, Alexandra was asking, does the Tapo have object tracking function? So the cheaper one, it has motion detection and notifications. I don't think it has object tracking. That would be a big ask for a camera at this particular price point. Um, Silent Badger 286, do both the cameras work with Fire TV and Alexa Show? Uh, I don't know. I, I know this one works with Alexa. Uh, sorry if I've set off all your devices, but I know this one works with, with uh, the Amazon Assistant and also Google Assistant. Uh, this one, uh, I don't think it does. It's not listed on the box that this one works with uh, voice assistance. And again, it's probably to do with the price point and the different ranges. Uh, so thank you for all of your questions. Thank you for watching 
uh, the video as well. If you've got any more questions after the live broadcast, please do use the regular comment section below. And as always, hit the like button. It really does help you hit that like button. Share a link to the video on your social media. If you don't already follow me on social media, please do follow me on Twitter. I'm Geekanoise on Twitter, Geekanoise on Instagram, Geekanoise pretty much everywhere. Also, just to let you know, I do also run a different Twitter feed called Geek Discounts. So all one word, Geek Discounts. So please do follow Geek Discounts on Twitter as well because when things like this come up on special offer uh, with a nice sort of uh, discount on it, I tweet them out. So please do follow that Twitter account as well. Uh, also, if you're not already subscribed, please do. I will say goodbye for now and wish you a fantastic day ahead. And I'll see you in another video very, very soon.